in today's episode with your fave, Alicia. You open them. <gasps> Period. The way she dressed it, I wore for that. Graduated my doctor. Now they said to put the eye cream stuff in his eye. His tubing mascara. It's supposed to like this. Yeah, one. he's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I'm just in this little small room. Y'all see? I know my day. Toast. Okay, let's try. What is up everyone? It is your fave Alicia and welcome back to a new vlog. So good morning everyone. Today's day is, what's today's day baby? Nine. Right, 30th. No, March 30th. Today is a Saturday because tomorrow's Easter, March 31st. And guys, uh, we just about to kick start this vlog because me and my man, yeah, we're hosting a like Easter cookout tomorrow, y'all. We just came, we just thought about it. We're like, you know what? Let's grill. Let's do everything like that cutesy. So that's what we're going to do. We need to go to Walmart and get some stuff, you guys. Um, probably need to get some meat. I think everybody else is going to like bring sides, drinks. And it's really just going to be like a family affair. This is not really like for friends. This is just for like family, you know. So I'm excited. So yeah, so we better go to Walmart um and then maybe go to lowe's because we need to get a new lawnmower it's a lot of stuff we gotta do y'all so i'm just not even gonna keep talking let's just jump right into it make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already and yeah let's go those cups I need but the thing is I'm trying to think of what kind of plates should I get should I get these or should I get the foil these come with 30 maybe I'm gonna do two of these foil because these foil these are kind of better yeah I'm gonna do two of the foil okay lower okay two foil what else do I need uh -huh. oh I need to get some towel paper yeah yeah let's get some towel paper Oh yeah, I also need some aluminum foil. Maybe I should just get this one. This one looks pretty big. What's the difference? Oh, heavy duty, 22 square. Are these sheets? Oh, aluminum foil. Maybe I only need one. I don't know, y'all. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe I'll just get this kind. Okay, I'm gonna get one aluminum foil. I also need to get some of these because when we take out the hot dogs and the hamburgers we grill, I can just put those in there so everybody can grab them. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, what else? I know I did need a small thing of sandwich bags too. I just need a small thing. I think I'm gonna get two of these so I could put the forks and the spoons in these. These are pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna get these. Should I get purple? Do they got a pretty pink? No, they don't. I'm gonna just get these two. Okay, y'all, now we at Lowe's because Taiwan gotta buy the llama and then I'm trying to look at these flowers so I can put one out tomorrow when we barbecue. I really like this one because the rest of these don't really have a lot of flowers to them. This is pretty though. And this is a full sun. 
margarita yellow African daisy. Oh, nice. And this can sit outside too, because it's a full sun one, so it don't need no shade. Because I want it to sit outside. I want one that's got a lot of flowers to it though. So honestly, I might get this one. This one or, oh, this one's cute. Like this one? Yeah. So I'm gonna just do this one, pay for it. Hi. Okay, y'all, we got a new lawnmower finally. Not even a new, this is our first lawnmower, y'all. We usually just let people cut it for us, but Tyler went and got a new lawnmower. And he got, got us a trimmer. Well, we, yeah, we do got a lawnmower. Don't mind the dogs, our next one is dog, y'all, but yeah, we got a trimmer. We got to get it going. Look at my man, y'all, out there mowing the lawn. That's right, boo. Y'all, he got allergies and everything. He hate cutting grass, but he's a man. <laughs> I love to see it. That's right, boo. <laughs> okay, what's up, you guys? I'm outside on my back porch because, yeah. Did I tell you guys already? I don't know if I told you guys, but we are, like, having... I think I did tell y'all. But anyways, we're grilling for Easter tomorrow. And I got to get my back together because, look, y'all, my... My back porch is everywhere. Look, we got a we got a nice ass grill, y'all. We bought this when we first moved into our home, bought our house, and yeah, Taiwan needs to c clean our grill if he's gonna grill tomorrow. So he's gotta do that. I gotta fix this. This is a mirror's play area. I'm gonna have to pick these toys up, get this together, y'all. Look, the wind destroyed my rug, but it's okay, y'all. This rug came from Hobby Lobby, and I think it only costs like twenty five dollars. Like it's cheap. It's not meant to last forever. So I actually already went to Hobby Lobby just a minute ago and got a new one, but I had to get another cheap one because the high ones in Hobby Lobby was a little bit too expensive, y'all. They was like $80. I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm ready to commit to an $80 rug. So I just got another cheap one because it's fine. It'll last the summer. So the guys is here. Amir, Amir's uncle's here, Taiwan's brother. So he's going to help him move that. And yeah, I just got to get this together because, <laughs> my gosh, I need to put these. I got to put those new pillows y'all seen down. Put these in the front. Yeah, I'm probably put these in the front. Oh yeah, and then here go my flower. Hold on. Mm, I'm probably gonna do like this. <sighs> I think I'm supposed to take it out. I'm supposed to take it out and replant it, but y'all, I got so much cleaning to do, I don't have time. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. But I did tell Taiwan that I wanted to put it on the table because I felt like that would be like a nice touch. You know what I'm saying? Because we all gonna be out here tomorrow. But yeah, let me show y'all what else. Ooh, my mouth's probably dry, y'all. But let me show y'all what else I got at Hobby Lobby while I was just in there. Yo, look! I uh, had little kitty license plate. Ain't this so cute? I cannot wait to put this on my car, y'all. It is so cute. Y'all, why was this so cheap, too? This was only like, yeah, this was $6.99, so $7. Y'all, I'm so excited about that, y'all. I went Hello Kitty crazy. They had a lot of cute stuff. Y'all, why do they have Hello Kitty shorts in there for only $7.99? Do y'all see that? $7.99. Hello Kitty shorts, y'all. Y'all cannot beat that. Y'all know Hello Kitty be costing a lot of money. So $8? I was like, yeah, and it's hot outside. I can wear these to sleep. So I was like, yeah, I'm definitely getting this. So I got that. And I got one more thing, y'all. Oh, my God. I went crazy, y'all. Look at this. A Hello, a Hello Kitty wallet. Yes, baby. We fine. But yeah, a Hello Kitty wallet, y'all. Ah, it's so cute. I feel like I could use this like when I'm wearing like my, you know, my like um, going out purses and I don't want to bring my big wallet. I could just put, use this small wallet. It's so cute, y'all. This one was cheap too. This was only $7. Y'all, Hobby Lobby. Like, I didn't know Hobby Lobby had all that fire. But yes, my man. Look at my man, y'all. Look, look. He been out here mowing the lawn, just, just getting it together, right? You been getting it together? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trying to find yeah, the trying to find something I can Be right back. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's the same day, y'all. I got my robe on and stuff because I'm so tired, y'all. I just been cleaning up 
since the last time y'all saw me outside showing y'all my man mowing the lawn me trying to fix the outside y'all it's been a long day but i've been cleaning up as you can see my table looks great that is amir's easter basket i need to put together tonight like look at my son anyways y'all i had to pull the carpet up so i can mop my son bought this table back in here and he's not even eating. I don't, you know what, kids. But anyways, as you can see, my living room is nice and clean. Mm-hmm, ain't that right, booty? So yeah, now it's time to get these floors, mama. Yeah, gotta do my son's room up in here. I already vacuumed, straightened up as much as I can, cause honey, look his room. Mm. But anyways, I wanted to get back on the camera and show y'all. Look what I got, y'all. I went and spent the little $32, 34, 32, however much it costs. And I finally got me one of these old cedar mops. So we about to try it out, y'all. Um, my man was taking out the garbage, so he already threw away the box. But yeah, it's brand new, as you guys can see. And yeah, here's all my stuff for tomorrow, y'all. Cookies, forks, Woo. But y'all, why is it raining? Like, that's crazy. So yeah, it's raining. So I'm like, mm, I did not know it was going to rain, but whatever. So I'm about to put this dang old mop together real quick. I don't even know how to do it, y'all. So I think I'm supposed to just put this on here. Okay. It's much longer now. Why is my son on the table, y'all? <sighs> y'all. Toddler life be killing me out, y'all. Like, why is he on the table? Like, why? Why is he on the table? Why? Why? Amir, get off my table, please. Please, please, get off my table. Look at your nose running, son. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go get your baby wipes so we can wipe your nose. I'm too tired, y'all. I can't deal with this. Because why is he up? It's 11.30 at night. Go to bed. Anyways, come on, y'all. Let's. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all just me mopping just a little bit. Because I ain't trying to bore y'all. I just wanted to show y'all my mop real quick. But... Oh, shoot. Okay. Shit, I don't need a lot. I don't need a lot. Put a little Swiffer stuff in here. Because this is specifically made for wood. So that's why I'm using this. Put a lot of this because it's going to help my floor smell good. Vinegar. Because I said this is for cleaning. Just a little bit. Cause All right. Now let's take the mop and put it in her. Oh, heck no. Heck no. Yeah, I'm going to have to boil some more water. Anyways, I'm going to just do it real quick so I can show y'all. But I'm going to have to boil me some more water. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Look at this, Amir. Look at my son. He's like, hold on. What you doing, Mom? Ah, what you want? Get, get away. Did y'all see that? Get, get away. That's got cleaning products. You can't put your hand in there. Child, I done seen it all. Now, they said to do this about eight, nine times. Y'all been watching TikTok. Okay, let me show y'all. Okay, oh, I got this big old spill right here. I don't know who did this. Ooh, chatting. Mm. Living in a house full of boys. Anyways, let's see. Oh, 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 okay. I like, I like, okay. Well, y'all, I'm not about to bore y'all. And like I said, it's 11.30 at night, so I need to hurry up and get this done. So, let me mop, and then I'll come right back to say goodnight to y'all. Okay, what's up guys? I am back. I'm done mopping the floor. It didn't take me that long. Um, my impression of the mop, um, I don't know. I mean, it was just a mop. I haven't honestly used a manual mop like that in a long time. I've been using a Swiffer ever since I moved here. So probably the last three years I've been using a Swiffer. Um, but I could tell it really did get my floors really clean. Like, I'll show y'all real quick. Like, my floors definitely look clean. So, I mean, I'll probably give it like a, a 8 out of 10. It doesn't get a 10 for me, though, just because... It's manual. It's bulky. You got to carry the bucket around. You carry the bucket around every room that you take the mob. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it's straight. I What I do like about it, though, is you can use it to wipe your walls. So, that was really good. So, I was in Amir's room wiping his walls because y'all know toddlers just put their hands everywhere. And I was able to clean my ceiling fans with it, too. So, maybe I will bump that up, my score up to a 9, to, nine, to, nine out of 10. 
yeah <laughs> anyways guys look last thing i gotta do tonight before i go to sleep put my son's easter basket together well both my son's easter basket y'all if you don't know i have a bonus baby uh my man's oldest son taiwan jr he's a teenager y'all that man's almost a girl he's 16 years old and my man was like he don't need an easter basket and i was like i don't know i just feel like that's awkward like just to give amir eat the basket and his brother don't get one i was like nah i'm not doing that i'm like let me just get him something and yeah so that's what i did so i had an extra easter basket thank god because i went back to dollar tree they didn't have anything that looked like you know what i'm saying teenager but i feel like i mean this is fine it's fine so i got him some candy i got a little airhead i'm gonna just give him the blue one so and i got some more eggs that i gotta put in here oh my gosh y'all i forgot i do have this uh just a little bit because yeah i mean he's a teenager he don't really care about no grass but i got some eggs y'all i'm gonna put some eggs in here just like this okay let's put this one to the side real quick oh yeah and dollar tree had the basket bags they had the clear ones thank god okay now let me show y'all the little ones easter basket because of course he's the baby so you know oh but Something about Easter baskets that I'm not liking this year is it's a big commotion on Facebook where in my city people are like, oh, every child deserves, every child should get an Easter basket. What? Every child should get an Easter basket? First off, I feel like a lot of this conversation is coming from people who um, who are not Christian, which is fine. Everybody, you know, can believe in what they believe in, but it's like, um, ma'am, first off, Easter has nothing to do, honestly, with a bunny. It has nothing to do with eggs. It has nothing to do with the Easter egg hunt. None of that. It has definitely ain't got nothing to do with no Easter basket. I just feel like the conversation is getting like, it's, a, it's getting absurd, honestly. And as a parent, the only thing that your child needs is the necessities. And let me say that again. The only thing that your child needs is the necessities. And necessities meaning water. So shelter, food, water clothing right um hygiene taken care of like i'm talking about necessities okay bubbles is not a necessity every child does not need bubbles okay if your child is living breathing happy at peace mamas parents daddies y'all doing your job like that's what i don't like about facebook facebook will really get on there people will really make statuses and they will not me but I'm aware that people sometimes take people's words and it hurts them. Like if you can't afford an Easter basket for your child, like imagine if you get on Facebook and that's all you're seeing. Oh, your child don't got an Easter basket. Every child deserves an Easter basket. Like chill. Like people are struggling right now to even take care of their kids financially. So for other people to put it on them and be like, oh, you should have an Easter basket. It's crazy. I do not believe in that. If you are a parent and you did not get your child an Easter basket and for whatever reason, that is okay okay like that is okay do not let the naysayers and the show-offs make you feel like your child is supposed to have something that they're truly not supposed to have a easter basket to me is a want if you want your child to have easter basket like me i'm gonna give my child an easter basket now my child is too baby he couldn't even say out of his mouth mommy i want an easter basket so that's what i'm saying like people gotta chill like all of this stuff honestly be for parents like it's the satisfaction that we get from giving our kids something you see what i'm saying like yes some kids will appreciate it depending on the age but my son amir he's two baby he gonna open this easter basket tomorrow look at it for about mm, 30 seconds and he gonna go on about his day baby this is honestly for me okay like being able to be like yes i love that i'm able to i'm blessed enough to give my son an easter basket you see what i'm saying you catch my drift listen it ain't it ain't needed it ain't needed okay like people need to stop getting on facebook and acting like hallelujah like they the how like the holy messiah like they say every like listen anyway let me not get started i gotta make this easter basket real quick because again this was a want i wanted to get my child an easter basket i didn't need to honestly honestly i wasn't even going to get him a basket because baby my child's so well taken care of baby he got our clothing every shoe every toy he really don't need anything else okay and i don't want to raise an entitled child okay if we're being honest so i really didn't want to get him too much so hence the reason why his easter basket baby is an educational one i did not get him crazy stuff like i just didn't y'all so let me show y'all what i got my son so again 
I like to give my son stuff with purpose. So I got him some ABC alphabet blocks, y'all. I already told y'all Amir is obsessed with blocks. So I got this from Walmart. This was around $10, I believe. And I think this is so cute because now this is something when he sees it in his Easter basket, he's gonna be excited because he knows the alphabet. So I was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna get for his basket. Um, I did get him some bubbles because my son does love bubbles. And I got this from Dollar Tree, y'all, for $5. And it's a little, um, what's it? Yeah, the little peeps. Um, I got this from Dollar Tree too when I got this. I think this is just, I don't know. I thought this was just something cute for $1.25. It's a squishy lizard. And my son loves anything that he can just squeeze and chew on. So I was like, okay, I'll get him this. And I don't even know where I got this from. Maybe the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Oh, this has Smarties in it. This is like a little dinosaur with a little egg in it. And then I did get him another basket to fit all this. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. Love yours. Oh my goodness, how cute. Look at my son's Easter basket. Oh, I love it. That came together so cute. Shout out to Dollar Tree because yes. Y'all, let me show y'all this. Look at this. A basket full of eggs, y'all. Why did Amir's daycare give him this entire basket filled with candy? Y'all, the first thing that came to my mind was thank you god i just felt i feel like this was a blessing because the first thing you know what i'm saying when it comes to like easter egg hunts and stuff like that you know as parents we got to do this we got to buy the candy buy the eggs put it together so for them to already did this y'all i was just i was so happy like so we do have some little kids coming tomorrow for the cookout so everybody's just gonna be able to eat the egg hunt with this because amir's too y'all he don't need all this candy like at all um i am gonna go through this though and pick out like candy that i know he likes like these skittles like i'll probably keep this i probably keep like three eggs of candy just for him but other than that i'm gonna let him do a little easter egg hunt but yes y'all i was so happy like that's crazy oh look at my little glasses i have to wear tomorrow i got these from dollar tree so i'm gonna wear these tomorrow for easter i think this is cute but yeah that's about it though y'all that is it for tonight like i said tomorrow's easter and you guys know the reason for the season baby jesus jesus rose okay he rose tomorrow's the day so i'm going to church in the morning i'm going to church in the morning i'm going to church in the morning this is me telling myself i don't care that it's 12 44 a.m baby you're about to take a bath go to sleep and get up in the morning okay so with that being said happy early easter to you all well you guys are going to see this after easter but if you celebrate easter happy easter and yeah i will just see you guys tomorrow for church and for the cookout so good night see you in the morning good morning everyone happy easter sunday me and my mom y'all why are we parked right in the front <laughs> why do we get a parking spot right directly in the front of the church <laughs> but anyways this is my outfit y'all i got on my blue graduation dress that i wore when i graduated my doctorate it fit a lot better honey i'm losing weight <laughs> then i got this green uh got a green blazer and yeah that's about it but like i said we're in front of the church so i'm not gonna record too much so i'm gonna just see y'all when i get inside <laughs>
my mommy's back from church you guys my baby didn't get to go to church today because he actually doesn't feel good he's been running a fever like intermittently like it's on and off so i was like yeah man you stay home because i don't want you to be at church running a fever or nothing as y'all can see look at his eyes that's how you could tell he's he don't feel good and he's not eating y'all like at all look booty i want to show you your easter basket mama look at all these easter baskets look at all these easter easter eggs if you open them oh candy did you crack one of the ones on this phone baby you got candy <gasps> look at daddy daddy's opened us up so okay let me get his uh basket baby look booty Mommy wants to show you your basket. Oh, look. Look, I'm here. I know it. It don't feel good. Okay, look. Look at the basket. <gasps> Bubbles. Yeah, Dino. Exactly. You got a dinosaur. Mmm. <laughs> he like that ain't no food, lady. What about the chocolate bunny? Okay, it don't feel good. I know it. Oh, look what mommy got you though. This the best thing. <gasps> Is that the alphabet? Yeah. Okay, mommy open it for you. It don't feel good, y'all. It don't feel good. Mm, okay, mommy open it up. Say my mommy. We'll talk to you guys in like two seconds. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I just changed into something a little bit more comfortable because I got to get this table together. I need to, like, set out the cookies and all that. My man just left because he went to go pick up some propane for the grill. Um, y'all, it rained last night. Did not know it was going to rain, but it rained last night. So it's a bit wet outside, but I think we still going to do the Easter egg hunt. We just going to probably do it in the front. And, y'all, I just tried to go outside and, like, fix up my back area but it's walks out there and i don't even play like that so i'm gonna wait the time when i comes back because i'm like oh yeah never mind so yeah so right now all i'm about to do is just try to find a way to set up these cookies i don't know okay here we go so i got some sugar cookies i got these from dollar tree yesterday too which y'all seen i'm gonna put the forks and the spoons in these here we go just like that oh, now honestly i should just leave these sugar cookies like this shouldn't i y'all yeah i think i should i think i'm just gonna set it out real cute real pretty real presentable so let's do this okay what's up y'all it's a little later since the last time you saw me i didn't start padded up hamburgers y'all so we got some regular hamburgers then we got some turkey burgers because some of our guests love turkey i put a little onions and stuff i wish i would have cut up the dang on peppers a little smaller but it's fine my mother-in-law she just put on some green beans and then we're waiting on our auntie because she has the other sides and then my man is out here grilling with his mother there's miss angie so yeah it's coming together it's coming together guys i just threw on this little I don't even know just a little target dress i've been having for like a season but that's it not nothing too much because i'm like you know what i'm saying cooking and stuff so i can't do a lot but yes and my son is sleep y'all i told y'all my son don't feel good so that kind of just put me in like a kind of mood because if you're a mama then you know like when your kid don't feel good it's like not even an enjoyable day but i'm gonna try to make the best out of it and i've been tending to him like i said he's just sleep right now so we shall see but yeah let's get this party started so come on y'all let's enjoy our easter cookout Plain below you i'm easter, right man. beside you he's ugly <laughs> you want to get in i'm vlogging <laughs> to the guy Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you as humble to know how Father God thank you for today and every day, Father God. Thank you for the blood, because we know it still works, Father God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for my family, Father God. Hands have prepared, Father God, and all the hands that are around me and my kitchen angels, help us, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for the nourishment of our bodies, Father God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Here we are. We got baked beans. Macaroni and green beans. Hey. 
Crazy. Yep. We're about to do an Easter egg hunt, y'all. Okay, good mark. They all, let me tell y'all, they they in this front area. Don't go past the cars, okay? Okay, good mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> <Day> three. <laughs> Look, get the egg, man. Get the egg. Get the egg. Because yes, it's airy season right now, but baby, they about to move on because tourist season's coming. Period. My birthday's in May, uh, but you guys are probably like, "Girl, you look bad, sound bad. What's going on?" But let me tell y'all, I'm sick. I'm sick, y'all. Like, if y'all remember from watching the vlog from Easter, I was telling y'all that Amir was sick. Y'all, my baby did not get better. We literally had to take him to the hospital yesterday. We had to take him to the children's hospital because my son has not been eating. He's been sneezing, coughing, stuff coming out of his eyes. He's been having fevers. Like, it's been bad for about five days now. I try to let it run its course because y'all know he's, he's in daycare. So, it's not abnormal for him to get like a little small 24-hour bug. But no, this bug was not going away. So, we finally took him to the hospital yesterday probably insert a picture of my baby and y'all he has an ear infection he has an ear infection in his left ear and then he also has like some some type of little infection in his eyes that's making like his eyes with nasty gooky uh just nasty stuff i don't know so yes yeah, so they prescribed him some antibiotics and i'm actually on my way now to myers to drop off his prescription because i can't talk y'all i'm so sick i'm on my way to myers to drop off his prescriptions so my baby can get his antibiotics today and start them because my boy just do not feel good um y'all actually i was supposed to teach today you guys know i'm a teacher i'm a professor um but i woke up i literally woke up six o'clock in the morning and could not swallow y'all when i say could not swallow and my whole entire throat feels so swollen i know these are called like your lift notes down here so these are swollen y'all like i don't even know if you guys can tell it, it hurts to talk it hurts to swallow like right now finally i feel like they're they're starting to loosen where there's not so swollen and puffy um because i've been up for like the last four hours i just been laying in bed y'all just i was like you know what i gotta get up i gotta go to the hospital so that's what i'm about to do i'm about to go to myers first and drop my son's prescription off and then i'm about to head to the hospital because i'm like something's wrong like if my lymph nodes are swollen like clearly i have some type of infection i don't know if i have the flu i don't know what i have but i had to wake up this morning and cancel class i had to email my students and tell them like you know unfortunately i have to cancel class like you know what i'm saying just don't come today i have not feeling well i'm actually on my way to the hospital like i was transparent i let them know because you know what i'm saying i don't want to like come to work and then infect them you know what i'm saying because i do have to teach they will be around me I was like, no, I'm just gonna cancel class. First off, I can't even talk. Like, there's no way I can teach today. So yeah, so that's what's on the agenda today. I just felt like, you know what I'm saying? Let me just be transparent and take y'all with me today. Cause I mean, y'all y'all get sick too. It's a normal thing to get sick, you know what I'm saying? Let me move my nose ring around. But y'all, I really do, I feel terrible. And it was freaking pouring down raining like 10 minutes ago. That's kind of why I didn't get up even earlier. Like I would have been going to the hospital at like seven o'clock, but I was like, when I say pouring, I'm talking about baby, it was pouring down. And now it's all sunny outside. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's April showers though, so I don't know. But I'm actually pulling up to Myers now, you guys. So I'm gonna just bring y'all with me. Say a prayer for me that I get better sooner than later. Um, and yeah, let's go. As you guys 
can see look how pretty it is outside though like it's beautiful and i'm vlogging off my phone because i forgot my camera but it's fine i don't know why i forgot my camera i was looking right at it but it's fine it's fine but come on guys let's go okay guys i just dropped amir's medicine off y'all i'm in the makeup aisle looking at the milani products y'all i cannot believe i did not know that Meyer sold my concealer. I use this Milani concealer, Warm Almond 170 all the time, and I'm literally running out. So I'm definitely about to buy some, but I was on TikTok trying to find like a lighter concealer so I could start putting like lighter concealer under my eye too, but they added the color that I need. So I probably have to order it online or like go to another Meyers. I don't know, but it's really hard to like find Milani concealers in the store, like really hard. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna just get this Warm Almond. I was looking at this deep tan, but that's okay. I'm gonna do the Warm Almond. Oh, Myers just called me. Yes, Miss Medicine must be ready. Okay, perfect. Good, I did not leave yet, sitting here shopping. I got my son some more, y'all. Amir runs through baby wipes, like a lot. But anyways, oh, let me show y'all this too. I was looking at this tubing mascara. It's supposed to like, this Milani brand is supposed to like give your eyes like a really good eyelash extension and a good lift. So I'm like, you know what? It's pretty pricey though. It's $13.99, but it has a lot of good reviews on TikTok. So I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. But I was just looking at everything else, trying to make sure I don't need anything else. But I don't think I do, because y'all know I just went to Ulta literally last week. So I think I'm good with these two products, which these two products is probably about to cost me like $25, but yeah, I think I'm good. But I'll let you, oh, actually, do I need another lip pencil? Nah, I think I'm good on a lip pencil. See, let me get up out of here. <laughs> Okay, Nayana came over here to Elf. Y'all, don't mind that annoying beeping noise. I don't know why it keeps going off, but I kind of do need a new contouring brush. I should probably buy this. I don't really contour a lot, but then again, I do contour. I don't know. Let me think. But I was looking at their concealers, and they have some too. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should do the Elf or if I should just do, if I should just do the uh, Milani and just get it online. That I don't know. And I'm looking at these little cheap uh these little cheap glosses they got. These are actually kind of cute. I don't know. See, that's why I be using TikTok. I gotta go. Oh no, this is the one I was looking at. Yeah, this medium warm that looks like this. Cause I want a really lighter color under my eye. I don't know. Let me get on TikTok real quick, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> okay guys. I just picked up all of Amir's medicine. I'm so happy. This was done in like 10 minutes, y'all. They got it done really fast. But now I'm over here in the Pediashore area because I told y'all Amir has not been eating. And sometimes you can give your baby like Pediashore to make sure they're still getting like all the nutrients they need and don't lose too much weight from not eating. So I'm definitely about to get him one of these, y'all. These are so expensive. You only get six of these for $13. Oh my gosh. But I got two of them because he needs it. I got him two vanilla shakes. I really don't know what the difference is between these two, but I don't know, I'ma get it. And I got him a new Pedialyte because I gotta keep up with his Electrolyte. I think that's all I need, I don't know. I, I really don't know if that's all I need, but I'm just looking around. Y'all, I've been craving this ice cream so freaking bad. This is like the best ice cream in the world. Like, mark my words, y'all, I'm not playing. Oh gosh, I know I shouldn't get this, but baby. <laughs> I'll just get this one. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Gotta get it. Ugh. Yes, ma'am. Which of these Olipops should I get? Mm, I really don't feel good. I really should get a good kind. If they had like a ginger, they do have a ginger kind, but if they had them here, I would get them. Maybe I should do, I don't think I've ever tried this orange squeeze, matter of fact. I'm gonna do this one since I don't feel good. I got a taste for some fruit, y'all. I don't know which one to get. All these fruit looks so good. I got some strawberries at home, so I don't think I'm gonna do that one. But this honeydew, this honeydew is calling my name. All right, y'all, that's all I'm gonna get. This one I'm gonna eat for breakfast this morning. Fruit and this Olipop. <laughs> all right, I gotta go, cause I'm just doing too much now. <laughs> okay, guys, what's up? I'm back in the car. I'm about to try this orange poppy. I, I mean, Olipop, not poppy. I don't like the poppies, y'all. I don't like the Olipops. Let's try them. Y'all, all my press-on nails is popping off. Mm. Oh, it hurts to swallow. Baby, that tastes like an orange creamsicle. Like a popsicle. It's good. 
it's good it's not my favorite but it's good i give it a strong eight out of ten it tastes like a literal popsicle but anyways guys uh actually amir just woke up from of course he couldn't go to daycare so he just woke up late but i think i'm about to go home and give him his medicine first and then go to the hospital because i might be in the hospital every bit of two hours and i don't want him to be you know what I'm saying? Laying at home, not feeling good. He's at home with his daddy right now. So I'm about to go give him some medicine and then we're going to head to the hospital. So let's go, guys. <laughs> I guess I would just see you guys when I get to the crib. <laughs> now my son blocked me. Look at my son blocking me. Look at my baby, y'all. I just put the eye cream stuff in his eyes. Oh my gosh. Look y'all, his daddy bought him a new tablet. He had a tablet, but it broke. So his daddy bought him a new one. This is like a Samsung tablet. Hold on, you, go, you might get me copyrighted, honey. Gracie probably, huh, Gracie probably make money off her stuff. Booty, I know you don't feel good. What? What? He's drinking his Pediasure, y'all. The Pediasure good, booty? I don't know why it's so dang old soapy in there. It's the drink. We going Stitch Crocs? So, yeah, I'm about to freshen up for like two minutes and then go back out the door because it's 10.48 a.m. It's really early, y'all, but my man got to go to work later on, so I need to be able to get here on time so I can be with a mirror. So, with that being said, I would just see you guys in the car. Okay, you all, I am back in the car now, about to go to the hospital and get checked out, but before I do, y'all, look at this. I have to make a return to UPS really quick. I'm about to drop this package, y'all. Ooh, ooh, what don't I feel good, y'all? As mm, y'all, I have two weddings to be in this year. This year, one in June, one in December. My friend Malaysia's wedding is in June, and I ordered my bridesmaid dress online. And y'all, it's beautiful. I, you know, I can't show y'all the shit, but it, it really is beautiful. But I've been losing a lot of weight, so it fits. But I feel like it can fit better you know what i'm saying like i feel like it can snatch me up a lot more so i'm going to return it to get one size smaller and i think i should be good because i'm telling it fits but yeah i think it, it could just snatch me better so i'm about to return this really quick to ups y'all i swear that's how that's how it is i'm trying to open my fruit but that's how it is as a mama like you know what i'm saying we got to put ourselves last we got to do this got to do that before like that's what i'm saying i had to come all the way home take care of my son real quick and now i'm about to go to the hospital like life as a mom i'm not complaining though like it is what it is y'all i can't open this shit hold on <laughs> instant replay <laughs> did y'all see my fruit fall out thank god it only fell on my seat mm. that's why i need it all right y'all let's go <laughs> all right y'all so as you can see we just pulled up to the ups store i'm not gonna bring y'all with me because i mean it's no point y'all it's nothing but dropping off this package so i'm gonna see okay y'all so i'm walking up to the emergency room about to go in here to the doctor i'm just sitting in the waiting room guys waiting to be called it's pretty empty today nobody's really here thank god but it is like a tuesday that a tuesday like i think it might be noon probably like 12 30 in the afternoon okay guys <laughs> do you guys want a hospital room tour <laughs> let me show y'all yeah i'm just in this little small room they have a tv y'all i cannot find the remote so i don't know that's all the little nurses information Oh, you guys have seen, that's my water, but well, you guys have seen what a doctor's office looks like. Nothing too fancy. So, yeah. So, I actually just got um, swabbed for COVID flu. Hold on. My nurse just walked in. She saw my camera. She's probably like, what the heck is she recording? I'm a vlogger. <laughs> but anyways, I just got, oh, let me sit up. So, I just got um tested swab tested in my nose for covid flu rsv and they also did a strip swab in my throat and she looked at my throat and she was like yeah you're pretty swollen and i'm like yeah i am it really does hurt to talk y'all to swallow anything and i'm hungry so it's like oh my gosh and i look a hot mess y'all i've got to take my hair out i probably because i'm sick i probably won't take it out this week i probably take it out this weekend because i just don't have time to do anything this week i need to focus on getting better 
but yep that's just a little quick update so it's probably gonna take she said the covid and stuff those tests take like 40 minutes and then the throat test she said the strip test is really fast so i should have something back pretty soon but i will keep you guys posted and let you know i'm literally just sitting here watching tiktoks actually i probably should start making some tiktoks because i haven't posted on tiktok in like a couple days so i'm about to sit here make some tiktoks and i will keep you guys posted what's up guys i am back in the car you guys i was at the hospital for like maybe an hour and a half i, I wasn't there for long at all so i don't have covid strep flu none of that bs i don't have yeah i don't have anything um she said well they diagnosed me with um throat pain and then they diagnosed me with viral upper respiratory infection so they gave me a shot it's kind of like an inflammatory shot an anti-inflammatory shot it's supposed to help with my throat and it really did y'all it's very strong it's called torto i actually had this same shot when i had really bad sciatica after i gave birth and that shot like it really helps with the pain and y'all y'all can probably tell like i'm talking better so even though that shot's really strong and it hurts oh my god they gave it to me in my arm y'all was so freaking painful but i mean it helped my throat now i can swallow so thank god um but yeah that's literally all oh and she gave me some steroids um like a seven day pack of steroids it's supposed to help like with my cough and you know all this nasty guckiness in my throat and all that so i don't know we shall see but I don't know at least I don't have flu or COVID or none of that so I'm not like contagious like I can go back to teaching tomorrow because I do have to teach tomorrow so I can actually teach but they actually had me off of work tomorrow so I don't know I'm gonna just play it back or see how I feel um if my voice gets gone again then yeah I can't teach tomorrow but we shall see but anyways guys hold on let me take a sip of this mm -hmm. so y'all I'm back at Myers because i gotta go pick up the steroids um but thankfully um myers already called me they said it's ready to be picked up so i'm about to run in myers real quick y'all get this medicine and then y'all we're about to go try some food i'm about to go try jack in the box y'all mm, i'm not too excited about it because i had jack in the box in nashville jack in the box is new in my city louisville kentucky we finally got our first jack in the boxes so i wasn't too impressed with it back in when i tried it in nashville a couple years ago but my mama done convinced me i seen my mama yesterday and she was like oh my gosh it was good the hamburger was good the tacos was good and i'm like really mama she's like yeah and my mama's one of them type of people like she don't lie when it comes about food like if it's good it's good if it's nasty she's gonna tell you it's nasty so now i'm like mm, well maybe i should go try it so jack in the box is literally like 10 minutes not even 10 minutes jack in the box is like five minutes from where i'm at so i'm gonna bring y'all with me and we're gonna try some i think i'm gonna get some tacos because i hear they tacos is good so i'm excited but anyways guys let me go ahead and get this medicine and then i probably would just pick the camera back up when i pull in jack in the box driveway driveway drive through <laughs> all right Okay, y'all, we about to come up on Jack in the Box. Hold on, I don't even know how you get in here. Oh, I don't know how you get in here. Okay, I think I turned right here. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all. Can y'all see? I know my stupid phone. I mean, my camera is kind of... What they doing? Okay, I don't know. Okay. Y'all, I'm about to come up on Jack in the Box. It looks like a Taco Bell. Oh my gosh, ain't nobody in this line. Y'all, ain't nobody in this line. Hold on. Let me put my seatbelt on. Okay, can I have a kids combo chicken nugget, the four piece? Can I try one of the jumbo egg rolls? Y'all have like a value size hamburger or anything? Like a small one? Yep. Can you change the small lemonade to a Sprite? I'm sorry. Y'all, I was just ordering anything because I just want to try some stuff. Like, and then they burgers is kind of pricey. Hold on. Period. My my camera's about to overheat though, y'all. So I'ma just see y'all when I get at home with the food. Okay, guys, I'm home with my guys and me and Mary. He's feeling a little better, y'all. Don't talk about my baby if y'all see a little snotty nose, a little crust in his eyes. Y'all know he's sick, so yeah, not him, not you. But look, guys, let's try Jack in the Box. Okay, me and Mary, I'm about to I'm about to put your food out so we can try your food. Oh, sorry, guys. The fries. Look at the fries. Again, regular degla, nothing too special. Here, remember, you get the first try. Here. 
Oh, you don't want to eat? I'll try it. Mm, that bad strong. That bad strong five out of ten. <laughs> Them don't taste like nothing. Oh, hey, Mary, come on, let's try your chicken nuggets. What is that? Barbecue sauce. Okay, here. What do you rate it, Amir? They season their food good. I get these chicken nuggets. These is better than Burger King chicken nuggets. I would give them a strong 8 out of 10. Those are pretty good. Okay. So first up, let's try the churros. Baby, get in the camera. Let's try the churros. Okay, you get one, I get one. Okay. Toast. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good, ain't it? Okay, rate it. What through... Ten. Six. That's it? Mm-mm. Okay. Six. Six. I'm getting a strong eight out of ten. Them is <laughs> Did you lick your fingers? <laughs> that good. It was only a five piece. Wow. Okay, so we tried the churros. Now let's try the egg roll. I thought it came with a sauce. Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, he don't he don't eat egg rolls. I forgot. Oh, come on, baby. Just eat it with me. <laughs> Damn it. This is huge! It's a little burnt right there. Exactly. Come on, let's try it. You try it. Oh my gosh. He, let's open it up. Oh, it's not hard. It's not crunchy. It's salt. <laughs> Y'all see that? What? It, it ain't got it no orange vegetable. I don't know if it's pork or what. Sausage? That's what it looked like. It gotta be pork. Okay, that goes orange. Mm, it's definitely not a Chinese restaurant. Egg roll. It's more like a Kroger, like go to the store and this was a six out of ten for me. It's not horrible, but it's not like the best. Mm -mm. Okay. We're gonna try the tacos last. Now let's try the hamburger. Ugh. Why is he saying oh like you don't eat hamburgers? I'm just fucking Y'all, I literally just got a plain old hamburger because I just wanted to try their meat and it don't even look good. What the hell? All right, come on. We just gotta try it. Why you do us like that? <laughs> cause why you just nah? Cause my mom. I'm gonna blame my mom. I'm gonna tell me it's good. Yeah, try. She didn't say a regular hamburger. <laughs> why did you get a cheeseburger? Oh, a cheeseburger. I forgot to say cheese. <laughs> it really don't matter. We don't want to taste the cheese. We want to taste the burger. The try what? it. I don't want to taste nobody. Uh -uh. Just burger. Uh -uh. Try it. Try what? it. Do you like the meat though? Clearly you don't. You just put it down. Rate it. Maybe because it's just a hamburger. Well, I rate it. I got. I want to go back to this egg roll. Rate the cheeseburger. Hamburger. <laughs> mm, bless him. Well, bless him. My baby sneezed. What you gonna rate it? Five. Five out of ten. That's crazy. Okay. Let's just get to the good stuff. The tacos, y'all. Now this is what my mama said. Oh, it's so why the hell is this taco so flat? What? Why is it so flat? You gonna try it, right? Here, come on. I'm making I'm making my man try it. Don't take a big Not this man just took an intermission and just drunk a drink. Are you for real? Yes. Come on, baby. Oh, it takes so long to do stuff with me in. Oh my gosh. Okay, just a little bite if you don't want it a lot. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. You put out a thumb, are you? No, I just said a taco. I didn't know what it came with. I think the taco's the best thing? Yeah. Why is the taco soft right here? It's not a crunchy taco. That's a five out of ten for me. Mm-mm. I don't know what my mama's talking about. I'm gonna call her and tell her about herself. Mama? Jack in the Box get a five out of ten for me. Mm-mm. Was not impressed. Again, I told you I had it in Nashville and I wasn't impressed. And lo and behold, I still was not impressed. The best thing to me, the churros. Yeah. Yeah, the churros was the best thing. But anyways, guys, I guess I'm about to sit here and see what I'm going to finish from this Jack in the Box. I don't really know. As you guys can tell, I'm feeling a little better. That medicine kicked in. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Not this man trying to get me a churro. Get away. <laughs> what? See, the churro's good. He went in for another one. Period. But you guys, I think I'm about to end this vlog here. Out of my mouth, boy. boy. Anyways, 
I'm at the end of vlog here, y'all, because because I'm sick. I ain't really about to be doing too much. And yeah, I don't feel like vlogging just because I don't feel good. But I love that I was able to give you guys some content. Again, I hope you guys had a great Easter. Thanks for spending my Easter with me and watching. If you're watching and not subscribed, boo, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big like. And yeah, I will just catch you guys in my next video. Love you. Peace.